Alright, Alfred Telefetto, Mr. Telefetto TV. Let's go back to this Donald Trump situation. Let, let, let's, let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. Steve Harvey met with Donald Trump, and I was somebody I did a vlog on, and I was like, look, man, Steve Harvey has earned his stripes. The brother is, is he's a great brother, man. What he does in the, with these, these African American males, bringing them in, parentless African American males, bringing them in, talking to them, that brotherhood. And he does like awards, he does a lot of things in the African American community. I think been a staple for, for over 10 to 15 years now. And what he's able to do right now, he's, he's, He's he's creating a lane that wasn't there for African Americans. I mean, the guy has a daytime television talk show, show and it's it's really not gossip based. It's not a gossip gossip based show. He's really just talking about stuff that women like. Honestly, he has Family Feud, which is I mean, he broke barriers getting that. I mean, he's hosted the pageant for Miss America. I mean, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, or was it Miss USA? Or Miss um, what Miss World? I, I know he has a stake in that. I know he has a stake in that pageant. From an old ownership standpoint, I mean, the guy's just everywhere. Not to mention, he still got the Steve Harvey Morning Show, the radio show. And I have nothing but respect for that brother, the Think Like a Man books and the movies that came along with it. I have nothing but respect for that brother. Nothing but love and respect for that brother. All right? But, I mean, it, it rubbed a lot of people. I read some of the comments. People were upset with me for, for standing behind Steve Harvey. And I'm still going to stand behind Steve Harvey. I don't care what y'all say. I think the guys are in his stripes. But I will acknowledge this. I will say this, guy. Thinking about it for 24 hours. I don't mind that Steve Harvey met with Donald Trump. We have to find some form of communication to talk to people we don't like, right? Somebody made a good point. Even when you're at war, you have to sit at the table and negotiate with somebody if you're trying to end the war. With people you don't like, all right? Your enemies. Your frenemies. You got to sit at the table. If y'all have a stake and people benefit or or don't benefit, you know what I'm saying, if the people benefit or could benefit from this country being better. So you got to got to open up a line of communication. But I will say this. I didn't like the fact that Steve Harvey was like, yeah, man, he, he seems, he almost, did he call him a great man? He seems like a great guy or he seems like he's dedicated. I don't like that. I didn't like that part of it because it changed the narrative for me. To me, it kind of opened up that line of, yeah, man, we're just going to forget about everything that Donald Trump has did. And we're going to just, you know, say he's a great guy. He's a great guy. Really, when you get to know him, he's a great I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit because Donald Trump gave us too many times where we've seen his true character. We've seen what he represents, right? We've seen what he's about. And he ain't for us. Now, I am open to anybody talking to him. I would love to have Steve Harvey and some more political leaders going with him. I would definitely love that. I'm cool with Steve Harvey going. Because he could be a financial component. He could be a spokesman. I mean, you use him. You put. You definitely get Steve Harvey there. Or whoever else. Those kind of figures. Jim Brown. I ain't for Kanye West. But some of those figures. You definitely get them. But you bring. You definitely go bring some of these political. I, I like a Mark Lamont Hill. That's somebody that I, I enjoy listening to. Bring a Mark Lamont Hill. Or, or somebody like that. I just want to see you backed by somebody who's in that political world. I just named y'all the things that Steve Harvey is doing. He's doing every damn thing. You can't imagine or you can't believe that he's deep into the political world with all the things he has going. I would like that, and I don't like that picture opportunity. That's another thing that I don't like. I don't like the fact that we've come to this, this point where we think that a photo opportunity is something that comes with meeting Donald Trump. I don't think that's the way you go about it. You can meet with Donald Trump, but why in the hell do you got to meet with the media and take a, a picture after everything? That's what makes it bougie. You can't tell me if you meet with a man for a couple hours, you feel comfortable taking a picture with him that's going to last a lifetime. It's just my opinion on that. So I, I went back and rethought about it, and I'm definitely disappointed in Steve Harvey and a couple aspects of the meeting, but I'm not upset with the meeting. That brother has earned his stripes. I know he's a good man. And y'all talking about what he's doing. What the hell are y'all doing for the African-American community? Why y'all talk? I don't like this negative stigma that's with celebrities. You're a celebrity. You got to do more. No, you can make a difference in your community every day. Now get mad at that. What are you doing to make a difference while you sit up here on social media and while you talk? What are you doing to make a difference? Hell. Alfred Telefer, Miss Telefer TV, I would love to know your comments. Talk to me in my comment box below. Thank y'all for the time, love and support. Just closing here, remember, you don't have to be a celebrity to make a difference. And I'm figuring that, every, figuring that out every day, all right? Thank y'all for the time, love and support. Salute. I'm out.